Hello, everyone. Welcome to Define Conversations, and welcome to your next installment of in of connecting with your inner masculine. Thank you so much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into what's going on with your own personal situation with your own inner masculine energies, please don't hesitate to email me. I do have. Uh, I am offering these as a personal reading. I just haven't listed it in the description box yet. But if you would like one, hit me up and we can get started. All right, so check it out. This is going to be a look at what's going on with your inner masculine energies. This is supposed to be an inner look into your own masculine energies. You could get some information as to what's going on with the counterpart, but don't count on it because that's not the intention here. <laughs> All right, but take it, take, take it as it resonates. Um, yes. I did describe, I mentioned a bunch of stuff in the beginning of the feminine reading that I don't really remember now, so maybe go watch that too. I do recommend that you watch both because everybody's got both masculine and feminine energies within, okay? We are a combination of both masculine and feminine energy, okay? Also, with that said, keep in mind that I am going to be using the pronoun of he, but this does not have anything to do with gender, all right? We're talking energy, all right? Just for the masculine and just to keep things... Um, you know, as clear as possible or as easy to understand as possible, I'm still going to be using the pronoun of he. But this has nothing to do with gender. Okay? Excellent. Let's just get straight to it. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the masculine collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the current energetic state of our inner masculine energies and any guidance and advice you have for us in connecting with our masculine energies on a deeper level. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to start with looking at the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies. And for that, I'm going to be using the uh, unicorn tarot here. Now, before I go any further, I do want to say, as I was connecting with the masculine energies before I started this reading, the, the, it was just, he just seemed down. And like I was perceiving him as standing there, just kind of with his head down, almost, if you watch anime, um, this is something you might understand, and if you don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how else to describe this, because what I'm literally seeing is he's standing in front of me, um, and like there's like a dark, there's darkness over his eyes, and it's like there's got this, like these, this blue shading, and you know like when someone, would, like if you're watching a cartoon or anime and someone seems ashamed or embarrassed or just down in the dumps that's kind of the energy that i'm getting and i and i looked and i i was asking why do you seem so down right now and i heard guilt so there's some sort of guilty energy some sort of shameful energy that the your that the inner masculine or that the masculine energies right now are dealing with and I'll, it has a lot to do with potentially how the masculine energies have treated the feminine energies in this, you know, current patriarchal environment that we're living in in, in, our, in our world right now, especially since the feminine is feeling, it looks exact opposite to that. She's standing tall and firm with her head high, or, you know, her chest puffed. She feels very confident, very sure of herself. And the masculine is just not there right now. But so we'll, we're going to see what the current energetic, energetic state of the masculine energies are, at least at the time of this reading for this part of the collective. But I wanted to share that because that, that I was getting that very strongly um, and I just felt guided to share that. But in terms of the current energetic state that the masculine is in right now, what is that? We're going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got here. So for the masculine one current energetic state of the of your inner masculine where is your inner masculine standing right now two three i almost like i literally want to walk up to him and like lift his chin and be like chin up like don't know but but also this is a this is something 
This is a grieving period. This is something that the masculine needs to process. And this has a lot to do with the emotions. Because as the, the, the divine feminine is rising, that means that the feminine energies are rising in all of us, okay? Not, those, not just those of us that are more femininely oriented. And so with that comes emotional awareness. And, and as, you know, and as things, we go through this awakening process, more and more is becoming apparent to individuals their actions and whatnot in currently and in the past are they're starting to see it in a different light they're starting to see clearly they're starting to see what what they're starting to see the consequences of their actions all around and this is all around okay this is the human collective as a whole and so there are some realizations that are that are, that are coming through that you're having to deal with or that the masculine is having to deal with that is causing this kind of guiltful grieveful energy and so i yes i want to step to him and say just chin up but it's not that easy he has to go through this process okay and this is not something that you want to rush. This is not something that you want to do for someone else. It's not something you can do for someone else, okay? You have to do this on an individual level for yourself, with yourself, by yourself, okay? Okay. Shuffle number four, current energetic state of the inner masculine. And five. All right. Here we go, kids. What is the current energetic state of your inner masculine? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's the five of swords. Okay. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> you know, this sure is a lot. All right, cool. And the top guard, too. Okay, page of swords. Wow, all right. Okay, well, um, the masculine is kind of mirroring the feminine right now because you have the two of swords here, and that did come out for the current energetic state of where the feminine is. Give me a second here. A lot has come out. Um, so, so bear with me. Let me just make sure. I, I feel like, because I think there are more There are more cards that flipped over in here. I just want to make sure. Yeah. All right. Overall energy. Ooh, yes. Overall energy is death. All right. Transformation. Hello. We have the six of pentacles. We have the two of swords. We have the page of swords. We have the high priestess. We have the two of wands in reverse. We have the ten of pentacles, the five of swords. We also have strength, the nine of pentacles, the fool, and the wheel of fortune. Okay. Bear with me here. So there's some sort of decision that is on pause right now. And what I'm getting with this is this is coming from the two of wands in reverse with the two of swords upright. What I'm getting here is it really does kind of feel like the decision has already been made. But what's on pause right now is following through with that. Because I'm getting with the two of swords, I'm getting an inability or a, a, a lack of clarity in, in terms of how to approach something, maybe how to communicate something. Um, I'm feeling an energy of not of logically or consciously just not having, I just heard the wherewithal, okay, but also not having an idea of how to take some sort of action, how to move forward with some sort of decision that has been made. And then with this page of swords here, six of pentacles and the high priestess, there is an energy of learning deeper truths from the universe. There is an energy, I'm actually really, for, with this high priestess energy, I'm getting communication with the, the feminine or watching the feminine, learning about how to have a balanced reciprocal relationship because what I'm getting from this high priestess energy is the feminine energies or the feminine counterpart here is not willing to engage in any sort of circumstance that is not reciprocal. And the masculine is aware of this right now. And thus he's learning deeper secrets of the universe, deeper truths, hidden truths, things that have been, have been unknown to him in the past. He's learning that right now. There is a completion of a lesson here with the 10 of pentacles and the five of swords. Our world is extremely competitive and has been extremely competitive for a very long time. And it's the masculine energies here that really drive this sort of competitive energy. And it becomes very destructive and very lose-lose, okay? No one really wins here, but there is a completion of this lesson, Ten of Pentacles. I do see the Ten of Pentacles as, um, physically speaking, a completion of a lesson because we do come here into these physical bodies to learn. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's definitely started to build a, a just uh, uh, in my opinion it's built it has built a 
um, definition in terms of having completed a lesson and now being able to move on to the next lesson. And here we have that. We have strength, the nine of pentacles, the fool, and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so with strength here, there is an energy of um, taming the inner beast, taming the ego. Okay, you have the nine of pentacles, which is an energy of independence and autonomy, right? Uh, and also lessons learned, abundance, okay, uh, and, and work, uh, 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 hard work being repaid, okay? And then you have the wheel of fortune with the fool. There's a massive change here. A massive, massive change in direction here for the masculine energies, for your inner masculine. And that's beautiful. And yes, this is going to be challenging. This is, and, and yes, the masculine has to step out of his comfort zone. Masculine energies are very fixed, are very rigid, all right? They're not used to changing course all of a sudden. They're not used to going in a completely different direction. They're not used to... Oh, what is it? Hold on. What, where was it? What was it? They're not used to going off the beaten path of trailblazing, of doing something completely brand new. That is the element of that. That is the nature of a fixed energy. A fixed energy is the one that follows the direction, has the plan and follows through with it without stopping. Nothing is going to stop you from following through with the plan or the path that has already been set. It's more of the feminine energies that change direction, that change course, that try new things, that trailblaze. Feminine energies are cardinal energies. Whereas masculine energies are fixed, and that's what cardinal means. Trailblazing, basically, okay? And it's interesting because the feminine had both the emperor and the empress in their overall current energies of where the, the inner feminine currently stands. So the, 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 the feminine is really is changing course, going in a new direction, and is being very fixed about going in that new direction. Nothing is going to stop her. Nothing is going to deter her from going in this new direction. And it really feels like the masculine is in basically the wake of that and following suit here and is going through a transformation that is allowing him probably to align with the feminine on, on a deeper level. That's also what I feel like is coming through here with the, the high priestess energy. Okay. You know, I'm looking back on that image of the masculine and it almost feels like a, a, an element of defeat here. For sure. Absolutely. Especially in terms of this right here, what we were just talking about here. It, it feels like the masculine feels a little bit depressed or maybe a little unworthy, whatnot, whatever, because we are choosing not to take his way any longer. We're going in a new direction, kids. And you can either get in line, follow suit, or be left behind. And it's not even a situation in which, like, you're not, we're leaving you behind because you're not worthy. No, we're, you're getting, you could potentially be getting left behind because you're not a vibrational match, because you're choosing to stay fixed. You're not choosing to just go with the flow of how things are changing. But it looks like here, the masculine is in the thick of it. Death is the root, is the, the overall energy here, okay? Big transformation. The wisdom of the universe is guiding him towards this. And what I'm getting with this strength card here is the strength to stand up and be authentic. Strength in the Nine of Pentacles. Stand up, be authentic, be independent. Okay. Okay. So... Now, with that said, <laughs> let's look at what's currently challenging the masculine, even though that does feel like quite a challenge. But let's see what's specifically challenging the masculine. What challenges are the masculine facing right now? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. For your inner masculine energies, what is your inner masculine currently challenged by? Four, what are the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing? And five. All right, here we go. Current challenges of the inner masculine. Here we go. And I'm using the epic tarot here, the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, 
also the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Overall energy of the Ace of Pentacles. My, my, my. Looky here. You went from the Ten of Pentacles in your over in the current energetic state of your inner masculine having completed a lesson ten of pentacles yes because tens are also about completion overall energy of what is currently challenging your masculine the ace of pentacles moving on to the next lesson to the next experience to the next life cycle whatnot whatever you have the knight of cups the knight of pentacles seven of cups five of pentacles you also have the ace of cups with the Eight of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Swords, and Temperance. Holy moly. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was challenging for uh, challenging. That was challenging. Yes, I was channeling. I was I was basically allowing the story to be um, assembled in my head here. Um, but we're gonna start here. Seven of I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups. Yes, but with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, your inner masculine is being challenged to open up emotionally is being challenged to face the emotions that they are dealing with, that they need to face, okay? And so because, of, and, and that's not easy. That's really not easy. And especially since there is a sense of inadequacy here in terms of your emotions, five of pentacles, it's causing you to say, it's almost causing the masculine to kind of like want to stick his head in the sand, which is very uncharacteristic about it about uh, 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 of the masculine and this is where your inner masculine is kind of almost feeling weak or inadequate when it comes to the emotions but literally the only thing that you can do here is face them is just face them and get through it okay you also have the ace of cups the eight of wands the her the hanged man the ace of swords and temperance it really look once you work on loving yourself Okay, filling your own cup. Things are going to open up really quickly for you. Things are going to move quite quickly for you. It's not going to take as long as you think. But you have to get moving. You have to start moving. Okay, I feel like there's an energy in which the masculine, especially with the seven of cups here, the masculine is kind of like closing his eyes to it, doesn't want to look at it, is refusing to look at it in certain sense. But that's only making it worse. That is literally only making it worse. You have to just start moving, okay? The challenge right now is to gain some sort of new perspective. The hanged man with the ace of swords. And that involves temperance, balancing. And I'm definitely seeing this as the balance of masculine and feminine energy, but also this is patience. But this is the balance that is the, and the alchemy that's coming in that's helping you to be this new version, or it's helping your inner masculine to be this new version, if that's making sense. I mean, in the current energy of your inner masculine, you have the fool with the, with the ace, with, I'm sorry, with the wheel of fortune and strength. That's exactly what we're, what this challenge here is leading you towards, okay? Uh, the fool being a, a new beginning, the wheel of fortune being a complete change in destiny and karma, and strength being for greater control of the self, greater control of the beast within, you can kind of see the, the beast that is represented in strength as kind of the emotions, right? Taming the beast within, which is going to, which is going to create a brand new person for you. Temperance. Temperance being that alchemy of two opposing or two different compounds that bringing them together to create a brand, a create a brand new one. The, the, the strongest message that I'm getting here for you, the inner masculine, your inner masculine right now, is you've got to start taking steps to honor your emotions, to understand your emotions. Your, I mean, when you have control over your emotions, when you have 
an understanding of your emotions, when you're not afraid of them, when you're not running away from them, but when you're embracing them and using them to your advantage, then you have complete control over your life and over your manifestations. Period. That's literally how this works. That's literally how manifestation works. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. So, with all of that said, now let's look at what your inner masculine wants to say. For that, I'm using the golden universal tarot here. What does your inner masculine want you to know or say? Five shuffles. So that was one. Two. four, and five. What does your inner masculine want to say right now? What does your inner masculine want you to know? Very interesting. Overall energy, the queen of cups. There you have the emotions I was just talking about. So already right off the bat, the message here is the ma your inner masculine wants you to know that he is working on observing and getting in touch, getting in tune and understanding his emotions or emotions in general. You have the Page of Cups, ooh, with the star. Okay, but then we also have the High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Wands, but this is in reverse. That's very interesting because the High Priestess came out here. And I guess I'm kind of... I'm getting an energy of uh, I'm kind of getting an energy of almost refusing to listen to what the high priestess has to say. But I don't think that's the case. Yeah, it is. Okay, for some, for some in terms of your inner masculine, there is a little bit of a refusal. But at the same time, with these being reversed, I kind of feel like this is something, yeah, this is something that's in, in the works, in the process, because also, looky here, you have the two of wands in the current energetic state of where your current inner masculine is energetically, and that's in reverse. And now in what your ma inner masculine wants to say or wants you to know, you have the three of wands in reverse here. So really what I'm getting from this and what I actually I'm hearing him say right now is I'm working on integrating these messages that are coming through here because he's aware of, he's recognizing that what the, what the high priestess has to say to him, what the high priestess is trying to get to reveal for him is going to help him put all of this Ten of Swords stuff in the past. All of the pain, all the hurt, all the drama, which is going to allow him to get really onto his path. It's going to allow him to follow through because the the three of wands, in my opinion, as a reader, yes, it is it does talk about waiting for the intern, return on an investment. But also for me as a reader, it represents um, having made a choice and now working on either either getting the momentum started or continuing generating the momentum or continuing or keeping the momentum going of whatever choice it is that they that someone has made with the two of wands 
But in order, in order, and this is exactly what I was picking up on in the current surrounding energies for your inner masculine, with the two of wands being in reverse, the two of swords being upright here. There is an un, there is not a clear conscious understanding of how to move forward with some sort of decision that either has been made, for the most part this has been made, but also this decision needs to be made in some cases. What your inner masculine is now saying to you is, to you is he recognizes that the high priestess is helping him to change these circumstances, is helping him to put this situation to arrest, Ten of Swords, so that action can be taken, momentum can, be, can, can start to be generated here in terms of a decision that, has, that needs to be made. And he's saying here also, number, with, with the star, and, well, with the star, that he's going through a healing process right now because the star does represent healing. And with the Page of Cups, this is a dreamer energy. There's also, there is also a reconciliatory energy, sure. Um, often the Page of Cups can, say, can be an individual apologizing, saying I'm sorry. But what I'm getting from this here is the masculine is saying, I, I, my dreams, are in alignment here. Like I'm, I'm dreaming of this. I'm fantasizing about this. I'm, I'm working on getting the emotions set, do, doing the emotional work, setting the emotional stage for this. Queen of Cups is the overall energy. Understanding your emotions, understanding what you're feeling and why is pivotal. And for me, as a reader, that can be what the Queen of Cups represents because she's in, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, or also in this one, she stares intently into that cup. So to me, that can say that someone is working on getting in touch with their emotions, getting in tune with their emotions, analyzing their emotions, understanding their emotions. Okay? All right, I, I, I do want to speak to this one more time. Yes, there is a little bit of resistance here. High Priestess, Ten of Swords, Three of Wands. There is a little bit of resistance here. Mainly because the masculine is really having to step out of his comfort zone for this, okay? But what I'm also getting is that he's working in tandem. He's working with the energies of the High Priestess. What does the High Priestess mean? The High Priestess represents secrets, psychic ability, and it also represents um, um, universal spiritual wisdom so i'm literally seeing the high priestess being the masculine's instructor right now and it's helping him put to rest this ten of swords energy put all this stuff behind him he's acknowledging this he's saying i'm working hand in hand very closely with her to try and figure things out please have faith in me is what he's saying also with the star here Please have faith in me, because this is hard. I am not used to this. I have no idea what I'm doing. And for me to even sit here and say to you that I don't know what I'm doing is big. Like, I, uh, you know I don't admit to this shit. You know I don't admit, you know I will never, I, I refuse to admit that I was wrong or that I don't know what I'm doing. And here I am standing before you and saying, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> And it's scaring the shit out of me. I just heard, I have a lot to learn in this process. Because this is completely uncharted territory. But you know what? Damn it, I'm doing it. And I'm gonna do it. And nothing is gonna stop me. Okay. Now keep in mind, the only thing that's gonna get in your own way, inner masculine, is what? Your own self. There you go. Keep that in mind. Okay. So now, I want to look at action steps that we can take to connect further with our inner masculine energies. Five shuffles here. You know what's so funny that I've noticed in these two readings for this, for this moment? Usually it's the feminine that has all these cards out here, but the feminine really didn't have much to say. Two. And it, would, it makes sense because her guidance was 
like her challenge is to like keep a wrap on things, like keep, keep things clam up a little bit, not to really talk about what she's experiencing or what she's gestating, right? But here, there's a lot the masculine has is, is going through right now. The scales are balancing for sure. I'm hearing karma is being, being dealt or is being doled out and that's not crime and punishment. That's just like what goes around comes around basically, okay? All right, number three. Action steps that we can take to further connect with our inner masculine energies. Four and five. Okay, here we go. Action steps that we can take to further connect with our inner masculine energies. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So we have the King of Cups as the overall energy. We have the King of Swords. We have the Lovers with the Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Oh, no, 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 the Four of Cups. <laughs> okay. Um, what I'm hearing very clearly is honor the relationship between us. Look at this. The King and the Queen of Cups. Wow. Honor this relationship, honor this marriage between us, masculine and feminine, within you, yes? That's what I'm hearing very clearly, very strongly, especially with the Two of Cups and the lovers here. Walk away from anything that, that drives a wedge between us, says the masculine. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Bear with me, guys. The inner mass, your inner masculine is, is, is asking for acknowledgement, okay? Because in what he's saying here, in what he wants you to know, overall energy of the Queen of Cups, he is acknowledging the feminine or he's acknowledging feminine aspects of nature, of life, of existence, right? And here with the King of Cups, advice that we can take or action steps that we can take in order to further connect with us, acknowledge the masculine. Acknowledge the power of the masculine. Acknowledge what the masculine stands for. Who, what the masculine energy stands for. Protect it, protection, action, stability, commitment, follow through, strength, leadership. There is an energy, okay, especially, okay, now I see what this is. King of Swords, Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles. There's an energy here of kind of the pendulum swinging, whereas throughout this patriarchal societal structure, we have devalued the feminine, right? But now, but and because of that, there there has been a development of, devaluing the masculine and it's funny because the feminine this was coming out in the feminine reading here so this is a continuation of kind of of the feminine reading but also now it's coming through from the masculine because the masculine needs to be acknowledged for who he is and what he represents there is an energy within the feminine collective right now that is saying almost saying that you know the feminine energies are doing it for themselves and i and it's funny because that that aretha franklin song is literally running through my head right now and 
I recently came upon something. I don't remember where it was, but there was an ener there was something in which someone was talking about how feminine the, the feminist movement and how extreme cer in certain cases it has come it has become has only helped to oh it was teal swan but it's only helped to perpetuate this war between masculine and feminine energy in saying women can do anything that a man can do and blah 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 that's not necessarily the case and it's not in 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 an effort to devalue women or feminine energy at all but there are certain things that a woman can do that a man can't do and there are certain things that a man can do that a woman can't do i mean that's just part of our world like think of it this way guys think of it this way do you really think a man can get pregnant I, i'm i'm just gonna I'm, i'll wait i'll wait do you can a, a man cannot is not physically equipped to get pregnant right so it's obvious that there are things that a man that a woman can do that a man can't do, right? So why is it so painful to say that there are things that a man can do that a woman cannot do, right? The masculine is being asked is asking for acknowledgement. Now, that might sting a little bit because of how things have worked in this dynamic of the patriarchal society and the devalue of women and blah blah blah, whatnot, whatever. Okay, that might sting and might be a topic of contention in terms of you've gone through, you've done X, Y, and Z, you've been in control of so much for so long, and now you want me to acknowledge you? Well, yes, because the pendulum is in the process of balancing out. No more of this extreme swinging, yes? In order for us to come into balance in harmony and union, we have to value each side of the equation for what they bring to the table and recognize that you can't have one without having the other. Why? These are two parts of the same whole. So here, with the King of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, you're asked, in order to further connect with your masculine energies, you are being asked to see things as clearly as possible, as objectively as possible, to remove any sort of personal hurt, pain, damage, uh, scarring, whatnot, whatever, and see the situation for it clearly, what it clearly represents. Accept the masculine for what the masculine represents and accept the feminine for what the feminine represents and allow the two of them to work in tandem. No more leaving each other out in the cold, no more unrequited love, no more, mm, I'm just not gonna take this, I can, I'm fine on my own, none of that. Balance. Balance is required here, okay? Sorry guys, give me just a second. I have to pause, I have to pause, I'll have to pause. Okay, all right, so that, that's, and it's, and, it's, and it's very interesting that this is coming out here because this was kind of coming out in the feminine reading but I didn't wanna take it there. But now that we're doing the masculine reading, this is literally what the masculine is asking for. And if you're a feminine entity and you're re watching this and this is triggering, triggering, triggering you a little bit, then this is a message that you need to hear. Okay. Sorry, I got a phone call and it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, but I think that was it. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. We're not going to be able to change the paradigm. We're not going to be able to change the paradox that we find ourselves in. Not paradox. The paradigm that we find ourselves in if we're, if we're not being the change that we want to see in the world. So, if, so from the feminine point of view, you're asking for validation or you, you deserve validation. You deserve to be seen and heard for who you are and what you represent. If you want that given to you, you have to give it to others. You have to be that energy for it to be returned to you. That is the message here. That is the point here, okay? Beautiful. So now let's close the reading with our oracle guidance from the dragons. I love this deck, you guys. This has become my favorite, my favorite deck. Okay, oracle guidance from the masculine for your masculine. Take it as it resonates for you, yeah? One last shuffle. Here we go. Closing message, oracle guidance, please, for the inner masculine at this time. Woo! That one right there. Okay.
Interesting. Oh, I totally get it. We have Sunshine Yellow Dragon. Helps you to help animals, serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. And I was sitting here like, animals? What does this have to do with it? But then, see, this is the card, yeah? But then I was reminded of the strength card here. In the current energies that you're masculine, the current energetic vibration that your inner masculine is in, right? And I was reminded of how I was equating strength here or the beast, the inner beast that strength represents is the emotions or your inner intuition, your inner primal being, which is highly instinctive and intuitive. Yes? So in terms of this Queen of Cups energy here in working on understanding the emotions and, and the wild, untamed aspect of oneself, here you have healing the animals. Helps you to help animals. There we go. Serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. Beautiful. Okay, so let's read this. Let's see here. Sunshine Yellow Dragon is a fifth dimensional dragon. And we have page 68. Here we go. We share our planet with a great variety of creatures who are all on a soul journey, just as we are. Like animals come from, like, I'm sorry, like us, animals come from a myriad of star systems and planets. They all incarnate on Earth to experience, learn, teach, and serve. Our task as humans is to cooperate with, look after, and learn from the animal kingdom. Fifth dimensional sunshine yellow dragons work with Archangel Fre uh, Felia. Wait, Feliae. Feliae. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's F-H-E-L-Y-A-I. But uh, this in Archangel is the angel of animals. They send bursts of yellow light into the auras of those who love and honor animals and help us to assist and heal all creatures. They are currently working uh, assiduously to touch the hearts of those who need to understand how to treat animals with respect. They also bathe animals in their sunshine yellow light to soothe and heal them so they can fulfill their soul destiny. The guidance here says, drawing this card indicates you Oh, I'm sorry, invites you to open your aura and allow sunshine yellow dragons to pour light into you, containing the keys and codes to understand at a profound level all the creatures of this planet. Then send these dragons to all humans who need to change their relationship with animals. See the change in their relationship with animals. I'm sorry, see the, see the mind and hearts of these people blazing glorious yellow and as they expand their perspective and see animals for who they truly are. This is also important, I'm sorry, it is also important to visualize all the animals in the world being touched by sunshine yellow dragons and lighting up with hope. Be a sunshine yellow bridge of light along with these dragons. I'm sorry, there are typos in this <laughs> that are throwing me off, but I think this is being a sunshine yellow bridge of light along with these dragons can help to he can what i'm sorry <laughs> be a sunshine yellow I'm, I'm gonna read it as it's written be a sunshine yellow bridge of light along with these dragons can help to can travel to help animals everywhere you will accrue accrue good karma as you assist your fellow creatures. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure that that description really is pertaining to it. It kind of does in sense of understanding animals, understanding all of the creatures on this planet, and and, and allow and also allowing them to be who and what they are, and that's a very important part of this process here. Okay, because especially in integrating with the feminine energy, I mean, the feminine is, is wild, untamed, and unknown, really. It's a very wild energy. Masculine is the, ex the opposite of that. It's very, is very fixed, is very disciplined, is very tame, yes. But we're not going to get anywhere if we don't allow ourselves to be, or we don't allow each other to be who they are naturally. 
Okay, so for the this actually really does feel like advice for the masculine here in learning about the your own animalistic internal instinctual nature and allowing that to be what it is, allowing that to heal, to grow, to prosper, and to flow within you, and to balance that work in tandem with that energy. I hope that made sense. With that said, though, this is a very good reading, um, and I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, again, if you'd like a look into what's going on with your own inner masculine energies, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. But with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!